Oh. Hey. Mm. Fuck, this thing feels good. Ha. Ah. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the Shimmy Show. This massage gun makes a great gift from uh, AliExpress. Very nice. Oh my god, feels good on the neck, the calves. It's very good. Let me turn it off. I've ordered a couple of these, about four of them now, for family, friends, and whatever, and they're really good, you know, for post-run recovery. So what's up, everybody? Welcome back to The Shimmy Show. Today, to not waste you guys' time, I'm going to uh, continue my log of taking Rad 140 Testo Sarms. Uh, check the previous episodes. This is uh, day number six of 50. Uh, that I'm doing this little report here and so far here's my progress like since the last time I weighed myself uh, a few days ago I think on day number two I weighed myself I was at 170 I was a little overweight yeah 177.2 pounds and today six days later I'm just about a pound lighter 160 one, uh, I'm sorry, 176.2. So I haven't really lost much weight, but I do feel like, um, I feel like I've gotten more mass in my shoulders and my legs for sure. Um, they say that muscle is heavier than fat, so that could be the case. I'm definitely getting harder, um, leg muscles and bigger leg muscles too. Um, I'm not doing any weights at all. My workout hasn't changed at all. I'm running about six or seven K in the morning every day. And in the evening, I'm doing a hit cardio workout, Chloe Ting heat cardio YouTube workout. And that's just 16 minutes burns about 450 calories for a guy my size. And, but there's no weights or strength training. I'm not, I don't have weights for curls. I don't have a bench press. All that I do have is access to a nice, good quality pull-up bar, as you might see in a previous episode. So I do do pull-up exercises all throughout the day, and I am on my feet all throughout the day, but uh, the pull-ups are helping me get better uh, shoulders, traps, and back muscles, and I practice doing handstands too. That's another, like, new thing I'm doing now. So walking on my hands. So anyway, the, uh, the, um, I was about to say the COVID, sorry, the, uh, SARMs, uh, Rad 140. So far, I've noticed that by day number five, the side effects have gone away. So that's a good thing. Yeah. Um, like no more, like, ex no more increased heart rate. I would say no more, uh, the hunger is still there. Um, my balls stop shrinking. Uh, what else is good? Uh, I guess either that or my body's just grown accustomed to it and there's no more uh, jitters. I think the first three days or so you take anything new to your body or new to your system, it takes a minute for it to get acclimated and whatever to it. And I think by day five, I'm through that here. So my body's used to it. It's used to the time of day that I take it, the dosage, and I'm taking it without food prior to a run. One 10 milligram tablet per day, along with um, after I work out, BCAA, protein powder, the usual vitamins, a lot of vitamins I take, and uh, pretty much a clean diet. Yeah, no meat, no bread, pretty much no alcohol, no beer, no pizza, no cheese, dairy. I just don't shop in 90% of the grocery store, really. Just pokey pokey bowls and protein shakes. Yeah. And weed, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, I have a very clean diet, keep the system clean, lots of bananas, and that's about it. So, yeah, um, I'm trying to think is there anything else I need to address here? Uh, that's pretty much it for uh, day number five of Rad 140. Like I say, my leg muscles have gotten a little bit harder. Um, noticeably people have told me this or whatever too and uh i can also notice that i can see the veins a little bit in my calf muscles since my muscles my muscles look like they're slightly swollen uh i don't know you can see on the camera my calves are always pretty big anyway but my legs are uh they do have veins in them now or whatever so and i haven't um i have not um i haven't worked out yet i'm about to and but after workout my calf muscles whatever are really swollen which and they feel good good workout but my I, you can like visibly see my veins and my muscles growing now so i think that in my opinion rad 140 will help you to 
grow any muscle group you have you uh you exercise but if you don't say for instance i don't exercise my arms my arm muscles are not going to grow okay only what only the muscles you use so for me it would be my core which has gotten a little bit tighter though i would say my abs have gotten wider and not smaller but you know wider expanding wise my chest has gotten slightly wider i've noticed just in a few days and uh, a little bit firmer Maybe just from doing burpees and whatever in the heat cardio or hand walking or hand standing. But muscles that you don't use will not be affected. So, yeah. Um, yeah, that's pretty much about it. I, I can't really complain of any other side. If there's no, I sleep good, no headaches, no jitters, um, lots of energy throughout the day. And I think mostly it's really important uh and this, this this is really I had to think about this for a minute. Uh, it's a lot of times it's not about what uh, a new pill or medication or experimental thing does for you. It's what it doesn't do for you without it that I think people neglect to uh, think about. Like uh, prior to taking Rat 140, I mean I was always an energetic runner guy, this and that. But I noticed I was having a little struggles in the uphill sections of my run sometime. I could always make it, but I'd have to slow down. And I prefer to just charge straight uphill. It's my style of running. And with Rad 140, I'm able to do that now. Like, effortlessly. And when I finish my run, uh, I can just go for more and more and more. So it, it basically allows me any kind of testo, testosterone supplement or whatever. It's going to allow you to abuse your body, basically, and do stuff that would ordinarily hurt you or tax you or make me feel sore the next day. And when I have it, it's like it just gives your body like a little bit of extra armor or whatever, I guess, to withstand the extra abuse so so long as you have the willpower to exercise harder and push harder and go for an extra set an extra lap or just endure as long as you got the heart for it it'll pretty much help your body or assist your body in making it happen without too much pain on your side you'll probably just feel pretty numb to it you know what i'm saying so that's the beauty of uh all that stuff yeah it just makes makes shit easier how about that it's not so much about what it does it's so it's more about just numbing you to the pain that you probably should be feeling you know um i have really bad kneecaps i've been taekwondo dislocated my kneecaps twice i've been hit by a fucking car while running uh my kneecaps click and buckle and are in terrible shape terrible shape but you know this has been since i was 15 14 15 years old so it's like um I'm pretty numb to a lot of that stuff, most of my older injuries, but the pain never goes away. Literally, my kneecaps click like I sound like a bunch of clicking, clacking bones. And uh, taking this along with some other supplement called HA, hyaluronic acid, it minimizes the clicking and lubricates my joints and whatnot a little better. And I, I just think that Rad 140 helps for me to just kind of not feel the pain on wherever my pain receptors are. You know, it's uh, that's really... Uh, that's really about it, I guess. So, yeah, everybody wants to feel less pain. So anything that helps you get through life with less pain, I think that people shouldn't judge you on, really. And if they are, fuck it. But I'm going to do what I'm going to do to feel less pain. Right? Shimmy and I proved this message. Uh, so that's all I got to say. This is, again, I think day number six, was it? Is it day six or day seven? So it'll be day number seven of Rad 140. And so far, it's a very positive review for me. Anything that helps me is good. And so far, it appears to be working and working well. And, uh, you know, I'm going to use it for this 50-day cycle, then go off of it. And if it's successful, I may do another cycle in another few months. But I'm going to go all the way up to day number 50, give a full report, feedback, and, you know, weight changes, difference, uh, things of that nature. Um, I'll have to also start comparing my older videos, say, a few weeks in the future to now to just see if I look any different or whatever. You know, I've I've noticed before with a lot of testo uh, supplements, such as Andriol and stuff like that, your face tends to start looking more blocky and square and chiseled, um, side effect of higher testosterone i suppose but i'm not trying to look all video game and playstation one square like looking and shit so if it gets to that at that point i'll back off of it or whatever but overall yeah i'm pretty happy with the shit it's pretty good and uh 
I recommend it so far. Yeah. All right. So that's it. Thanks for watching the Shemmy Show, you guys. Good luck. Hope you guys are getting through your little lockdowns and whatever. Okay. And soon all this bullshit will be over, I hope. <laughs> you know? They say by the third quarter of 2021, people can travel again. And hopefully soon, I'll be up on the plane, jetting across the world, touching down here, there, 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 and everywhere, and doing a big circle all over again. Cause that's what I do. So thanks for watching and uh, hope this info helps. Please share it with uh, your folks if you think this information is good for other people. And uh, thank you for your time and watching. Ciao.